the the brief for this project was to create uh, an electric skateboard that would tra- that would transport our lecturer <laughs> from the new <laughs> education learning and teaching building yeah. to the new horizons we're all fourth year materials yeah. engineering yeah. students but prior to this design class we've never actually properly built and designed something uh, from from scratch, from scratch this is our yeah first go. so at first is actually sounds like unbelievable for us to make a skateboard by ourselves but during the assignment we found that yeah we we can do it we can make it and it is really um it, it is really exciting for me it was that oh obviously i guess with projects sort of this size you are going to struggle to do it on your own if you've got all got other things to do so sort of a, that, so having that team there so other people might have been doing like the 3d printing sort of the parts plus other people look at more of the electronics and sort of if everyone sort of knows the end goal you can sort of go work off on different parts of it sort of separately at the same time and then bring it together at the end so it obviously saves a lot of time and makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Well, the most important part in our electrical skateboard is the motor and the electric circuit in the whole um, black case. The whole electric circuit will control the uh, motor to uh, make this and this is the drive Running. wheels and this is like the passive wheels and they are activated by the drive wheels and they are also speed control in the circuit so yeah. we can choose uh, we need a high speed or low speed the design process was pretty much first we just bought a giant plank of wood and then we didn't even know how like suspension works how many parts to the wheels so it was sort of investigated that would this would a plank of wood just hold a person? And then the circuitry came, and then we had to find out how to the motor connect to the wheels. Yes. And then after when Which, and that didn't work. For that didn't a while. work. Yeah. The, the motor was a whole separate thing we had to get working. There was some issue with the transmitter, and then <laughs> we it took quite a few weeks yeah. to to figure out to troubleshoot what actually was wrong, and. The first thing we ever did with the motor was we broke, we created a huge short circuit and we broke a component before we'd even started. So we couldn't get the motor working and then we had to work out which part of the circuit was broken to fix that. Probably wouldn't ride it, mainly because I guess due to different issues and that along the way we probably didn't quite have enough power going to the motor, so just sort of the the speed in the end just probably wasn't feasible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this way due to the output voltage of the ESC is quite small, but we can check. But but if you if we want to um, to make the speed uh, higher, we can we can change another another ESC and make the speed uh, higher. I think it uh, looked well, yeah. and <laughs> maybe the business businessman or student or normal adults like. You and me are all think it make it looks gorgeous. And the second, it's foldable, so uh, we can easier to put it into bags for students. Also, maybe in some um, public space like library or sub uh, subway or railway station, we can store it in the box or into the uh, some lock locker. So we think it may be uh, as quick as a. Uh, commercial skateboard in the market so uh, it's our uh, benefits for people in different area different age to use it